when finding the surface area of different types of shapes, in this case a triangular prism, one of the best ways when you first start doing this sort of problem is to try your best to draw the net of the object. Now I'm going to um, click on here and show you the net that I'd like you to draw. And what I'd like you to do is just to pause the video in a little while and do that and get it quite accurate. But just so that we're marking things correctly, I'm going to give you some of the measurements. We're going to call this three centimeters so you can see where it is. We'll call this eight centimeters. And that means that this distance down here, which is this distance here, must be five centimeters. Now what I'd like you to do is to write in an area, sorry, a distance for this line along here and a distance for this line along here. Now we know all these are eight and this is this distance along here, along here and along here. So if you could write in those where those ticks are and then um, we'll run the video when you're ready. So let's now fill in the different details. We've got this line here will be the same as this one, that's five centimeters. We know that if this is three, then we'll take another side, this is a match to it. So this would have to be five. Remember this would fold up against that line there. So that would be five centimeters. And then that means that the remaining side would be four centimeters here. Now if that's four, we know also that this line down here would match up with that line there when it's folded. So this would be four centimeters and so would this. And once you've got those written down, the major part of the question is, is uh, finished. So what we're going to do is we're going to write down the solution. So we can say therefore that the surface area is equal to now I'm writing this in a fair bit of details, but we'll write this, it's equal to two triangles. And they're the same size. Plus three rectangles. And they're different sizes as you can see. So let's work these out. We can say that the, we'll put this here, the two triangles must be equal to two times half times base times height. So we've got two times half. Now the base in this case would be three centimeters. We'll use this as our base. And the perpendicular height then would be four centimeters, three by four. So if we take that, three fours are 12, half of 12 is six, two sixes are 12. That would be the area of both our triangles added up. Now, I'll just push this up a little bit. Let's have a look at this side. So we know that we've got to add this together. So we can say plus on this side, three rectangles. And now you just have to be systematic in the way that you work these out. Let's take our triangles. Let's call this one here A, this one B, and this one C. So we would say that A, so the, we'll put here the area of A, so I'll put that little A down there, is just equal to 3 times 8. And 3 eighths is 24. The area of B would be equal to uh, 5 by 8. 
centimetres, which would be 40 centimetres squared. And the area of C, the last one, is 4 by 8, which is 32 centimetres squared. So therefore we can say, therefore, the surface area must be equal to 12. And then we just add in all of our other areas. 24 plus 40 plus 32, which gives us a total of 108 centimetres squared. So the important thing is to make sure that you usually draw a net or if you're very good at it you can see it straight away but you've got to make sure that you you look at every single side work it out systematically and then add them up and in that way you should be very accurate in your results